dun 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 Hello! Well, uh, I'm going to try and do a short video on the self-powering diesel heater project. I say I always say short and then it ends up never being short. A uh, viewer suggested in the previous video to swap out this MPP controller with a Genesun GVB8 boost and supposedly this, well, and from what I've read, it works at a lot lower voltages. So the lower voltage that we get out of the TEG modules should be better suited to work with this controller. And I managed to get this controller, uh, well, not a bargain, but they were, they had a sale on their website where they had some open box, like brand new, like returns, like display models. So I managed to get this for slightly less than it would have cost when it was new. And there's nothing exciting about it. I mean, there's no fancy display like the other one. It's just got a two color LED. Red means there's a problem. And then it's got various states of flashing to indicate what it's doing. Input for the battery, or rather output for the battery, and input for your solar panel, or in our case, the TEG modules, and a little sealed box. I don't think it's like completely waterproof sealed. What is it? It's IP40, so it's uh, like, what's that, like splash resistance? Is that splash? Anyway, it won't matter for us, for testing. So I'll wire this up. I'm going to put a multimeter in series so we can actually see the current getting put in the battery. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. So I'll bring you back once it's all set up. This is what we have so far. We've got the thinner wires, that's the output from the tags coming into the positive negative on the panel input. The negative for the input of the battery, I've uh, screwed my meter terminal in through the meter on amps, set to amps, and then back out to the negative terminal battery. Positive terminal battery just comes through to the positive terminal of the, uh, the MPP controller Genesun thing. So it's got a long LED flash, not sure how well I showed on camera, of it being in standby. So what I'll do now is turn the water pump on for the water cooler and disconnect the power supply that's charging the battery, turn the heater on and then we'll see what kind of readings we get once it's up and running. I'll bring you back once it's fully up to power. Let's go. Okay, we are running, not at full uh, temperature power. The display is still only at two greens. But according to the LED and the thing, can you see it flash? It's charging. We're putting out 500 milliamps, well nearly 500 milliamps. That's almost enough to run, <laughs> run the water pump. Okay, we've now surpassed the current draw of the water pump. Okay, we've been running for a few minutes now and the Genesun is currently putting in 1.2 amps back at the battery. Eh, hold on, come with me. Come with me and we'll go on a small adventure. Right, I've got this meter. Uh, its probes are in the battery, so the battery's currently floating, well, anywhere between like 12.8, 13 and a bit. I'm guessing it's the Genesun doing its MPPT thing, because sometimes the battery goes down, sometimes it comes back up again. But I think it's kind of stabilizing. Anyway, and the other clamp meter is what the heater is currently drawing. So, just over four amps. Like four, uh, we'll call it four, and then plus another power supplies, 400 milliamps for the water pump. So we've got four amps, well, four and a half amps coming out and 1.2 amps going back in. This Genesun thing is really quite impressive. I'm, I am quite impressed with it. So there you go, it's kind of stopped at 1.2 amps. That's what it's putting out. Right, let me turn this, turn this all off and make it shut up. Well, what have we learned from this uh, experiment with this new controller? I don't think it generated any more uh, current than that one did. Like, I'm sure that one got 1.2 amps as well. The Genesun got 1.2 amps. 
if anything, I feel like the Genesun got there faster, though. Don't know if that's that's a thing. It's also a lot smaller, so if, if Emney's like going to put one in a camper van and you don't need a display to see all the things, like on this one's, this is a 10 amp, this is an 8 amp, so uh, yeah, you're much a muchness. But this is, obviously this is just a big, same size box that they make for all of them, I think this is probably the same size box that they make for all of them. Oh, I should point out, like, this isn't sponsored by Genesun, and I, I bought this off Genesun. Oh, which incidentally, it was perhaps one of the fastest shopping experiences I have ever experienced. I literally, like, I've pressed, I, I bought it and paid it, and then, like, within moments, I had emails telling me it was shipped, and it literally arrived a few days later from the middle of Europe somewhere. It, it was, it was phenomenal. Oh, and you get a free sticker. Ta-da! Anyway, back to the project at hand. So, we're going to keep using this one because it gets to where I want it to be faster. It's a lot smaller and, well, easy to use. I should probably put this on eBay or sell it or give it to somebody. I'm not going to use that one anymore. And now, our next stage is to, well, we are going to abandon the putting the tags on the heater module where I am eventually going to find Basically, this, which is two heat sinks stuck together, you put tags on one side and run the exhaust down the middle. So we can use the waste heat from the heater to see what we can get with, what power we can get with the waste heat from the exhaust. And I'll need to start buying things. I need to go on uh, the AliExpress or whoever and see what I can find in the way of long heat sinks that will fit a tag module. So if anyone has any ideas where I can get a long heatsink, like like this, but long, like many TEG modules worth of heatsink, aluminium, uh, fairly chunky, robust, and I can stick the tags to it, weld the top on, have the exhaust flow through it, have the other side cooled by incoming air, as we've uh, discussed in previous videos. So that was that, Genesun controller, much a muchness with the other one. Uh, it's about double the price. Uh, yeah, not expected. Well, not expected more because you can only get so much energy from your energy. But that is anyway. Comments, questions, and if you know where I can get big long uh, heat sinks, that would also be really helpful. As always, thanks for watching.